Guys, this is Furby here, and we are back in Nazi Republic. We are about to go th overthrow the Wookiee government. So join us, won't you? Mm, probably shouldn't have stolen his slogan. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> Lead on, we should hurry. Alright. That saved me from a lot of walking. Oh, that's just great. Everyone is here now. It's a reunion. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to be doing that. You tell them, Zalbar. Do you have to fight? Talk it through. Convince them. Avoid this needless slaughter. Chandar. Is that him out there? Yeah, sorry Chandar, but Yeah, he likes Probably gonna be a What will you do about the slavers? Yes. What what will you do now, Zolbar? about Kashyyyk. Do I see? Uh, okay. Alright, I think it's time I was leaving. <laughs> Zalbar, shut up. I want some credits. That would be fitting, I think. Alright. Okay.
Okay, so buy you because you're worthless. And now we'll bring her back in. All right, light set points. Ooh, remains. Cool. Um, is there anything else in here I can? Oh wait, there's more remains. There they are. Ooh, man. Ooh, the bowcaster. It's kind of chilly in here. I wonder, can I quick travel? Oh, I can. No, but I got I got quests to complete. But it might be easier to complete them from. Okay, what do we have left? Hmm. Where? I don't know who to talk to about that. I know who to turn that into. Um. Hmm. Let me just run through here real fast, see if I can find out who I need to talk to, to one of you guys maybe? Any of you guys have a name? No. I'm trying to find a named Wookiee. Maybe I can turn in this quest about whoever it was that was down there. Something about a hunting party, wasn't it? Yeah, I got a feeling it's somebody over by um, the things to go down the elevator. So let's let me go there, see if that person's there, and if not... We'll just jump back to the Ebon Hawk. After a quick look on Google, I have figured out how to turn in the Lost Wookiee quest. So let's jump to it and get it done. I hate to tell you guys it's bad news, but... Do you recognize this bowcaster bolt casing? I do not like where this is leading. I fear it can only end in sorrow. I found it on Roar's corpse. You killed him, didn't you? Can you explain why your bowcaster casing was found on his body? Roar War was dealing with the slavers. I found this data pad. seen it on my map. Alright, so we're going this way. Yes, yes, I know I need to level you guys up. I feel like doing it right at the moment. Look, Wookie! 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 New Budweiser commercial. Wookie! Wookie! Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Alright, let's go talk to this person. War Do you know who owns his bolt casing? I found Jarok's bolt casing on the Roar Roar's Here. Say, 
Won't you say anything in your own defense? I gotta stop clicking it. <laughs> if that is what you want. <laughs> this is a hard decision. No, I, I won't let this happen. Okay, kill him then. Jarok must pay for his crime. This isn't justice. It doesn't seem right. What else could we do? Mm -hmm. Please don't give me dark side points. Please don't give me dark side points. <coughs> Goodbye then. <coughs> Dang it! I thought that was what he wanted. Gosh darn it. Well, can I... Okay, yeah, we can just jump right to the Evan Hawk. And I will come back when I get to the dude that did the dude bad, and yeah. I hear gunfire. Something's going on. Oh, the looks of the Oh, I guess they don't like us now. Oh, a help. Shooting at us? No, here. Back to the remain. Uh oh. Aw, right. oh, darn it. Well, let's <coughs> excuse me. Let's click. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let us. <coughs> oh, man. I got choked. Let us get these. <coughs> man. Remains? Where are those two people? I could have sworn they're right over here. I guess not. I guess they emptied this place out then, right? Yep. Oh, well. Well, let me continue on until I find the people to turn in that quest. Well, look who it is. Yikukuno no ba muli ra jikun. Tong hit kun chun ching. Ne bobo je mata ne punage. Uh, thanks. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching achuta. Wonga. Okay. That was a little suspicious. G Gino Harardin. Ah. Okay. I know what that's about. But anyway, well, let's continue. Well, actually, I think they're just right around here. Please be right around here. I don't want to keep going. Come on, come on, where are those two people? Yay! Is that no, it's not them. Heck no, where are they? I could have sworn they were just like right there in the beginning. Cause this is the supply station. And then the village. Darn it. Well, hang on. Well guys, 
I guess when I finished the um, overthrowing of the Wookiees, we somehow managed to get rid of that one quest where we found that data pad or the droid head down there. So I can't complete it, but well, I guess now we wave farewell to Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk? I prefer Kashyyyk. And we're gonna f head on. Actually, I'm gonna make a pit stop to um, Manon. And then we'll be moving on to Korban. So I will see you guys on Manon. <laughs> I guess I'll ask if we should go search for it. I hope so. That's a cheery thought. Yep, me too. Alright, well now that we're on the Ebon Hawk, we are going to head to Manon. Actually, wait, Bastel, Bastel wanted to talk to us, so let's talk to her real fast. How can I help? Never mind. Oh, I guess then I can't I actually talk on. to her on the Ebon Hawk. So, where's Manon? Alright, I will see you guys on Manon. Or more like at the guy on Manon, but yeah, it's still on Manon. So let's go. Uh -oh, What's going happening? on? Sis interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. This can't be good. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan, Saul Carrot's vessel. My old mentor. Uh oh. That can't be good. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a young Twi'lek in the back. She's got quite the mouth on her. She swore at me and spit on my uniform. She tried to bite me through my armor. And you should hear what she said about my mother. <laughs> Admiral Karath needs to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. The Admiral doesn't have time to bother with some Twi'lek girl. Take her away to solitary confinement. I'll leave it up to you to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, so, and for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're wasting your time, Saul. I'll never betray the Jedi. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Plot twist. Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. Oh, 
I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. Really? When? My loyalty is as true as Bastila's. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. I will not betray the Jedi Order, even to save Bastila. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan. It's on Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well, this is the price of your resistance. <coughs> Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. No, you're lying. This isn't true. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Dantooine have been eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? I won't betray the Jedi. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. Ah, no! Ah! Fing! Ah! Listen, can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? You are a sick and evil man, Saul. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! <laughs> no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Oh, please. Ah! Jack to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Garth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. No one is without hope of redemption, Bastilla. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? I know, it, it's hard to believe they're all gone. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, and Dar, Sar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Where's Saul now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. Yeah. 
I'm sure it was more than just a moment. I I'm sorry, Pasta. Watching you suffer tore me apart. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position to watch you suffer like that. It might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Mission busts us out of here before he arrives. Mm -hmm. Come on, girlie. Into the cell. Let's go. I haven't got all day to waste on you. I need to get back to my post. Quit crowding me. Sheesh. I've met Gamorians who didn't smell as bad as you said. You think you're pretty funny, don't you? But you're only making things worse for yourself. How come every time you open your mouth to talk, the scent of rancor dung comes out? Maybe a little time in solitary confinement will teach you the proper respect for the Sith. Now get into that cell. Who designed those Sith uniforms anyway? A blind Rodian with a sick sense of humor? Oh, that's funny. You should tell that one to the torturer when he comes to deal with you. What? You're... you're going to torture me? No snappy comeback this time. The thought of torture scares you, hmm? Well, it should. The Sith have ways to inflict pain you can't even imagine. It may be a few hours before your torture begins. We're busy interrogating your friends right now. Hey, I know. You could use this time to think up witty ways to beg for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. Or I could use the key card I lifted from your pocket to slice into the security panel and get myself out of this cell. <laughs> yep, that would work. Piece of cake. I wonder when people will stop underestimating me. All right, journal entry added. Is there anything in here I can use? No. Is a Sith in here? No. Let's go talk to this guy. Why did the Sith capture you? What do you mean by rare goods? You're a smuggler. How can I help you? Why wouldn't the Sith have confiscated something like that? Uh, say no more. I get the picture. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Alright, um... Security. Gotcha! Darn it! Oh. Oh, where's the... How do I open it? Oh gosh. He saw me. Will he go away or is he going to keep coming after me? Let's see if we can get over here to this. <laughs> Ride equipment. It's better than nothing, I guess. Yes, you can. But I'm not in combat. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. Um. Um. I don't even know what she's set up to use. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. 
No, okay. Alright. But now we stand a fighting chance. Okay, so he shot me, but he's not coming after me now. Gotcha. Simple. Contraband. Ooh. Nice. That stealth field generator will come in handy. What else did we get? Hmm. Alright. How how do I go to stealth? How How do you go to stealth? I thought she could stealth herself. Hmm. I don't think I want to go out. Do I want to go out? What's in here? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, really? Shouldn't have gone in here. You'll never get me. I might be in trouble. Okay, we will have to rethink our strategy. Alright, uh, we are back. Um, I have leveled up, and... Oh gosh, oh gosh, he's right there. Oh no, that's just... Oh yeah, I've got my awareness so high that I'm picking up people in the prison cells. Um, but yeah, I've got... I know how to turn the stealth mode on now. No one's gonna see this Uh-huh. So now I can sneak around. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go. I know I don't want to go back in that room. But there's got to be like a security room or something. I think it's over here maybe. Hopefully he won't detect me. No. Alright. Yeah, I got like... My stealth is like 19, I think. So I'm have a feeling this room right here is where I need to go. Probably like the security room or something. Will I active? Will I set him off if I open this door? Oh. Yep, yeah, this is where I need to be. Can I sneak past him? Yep, slice the computer. Access security cameras. Barracks, starboard, starboard. Okay, so I can't. Cell block. Release. Oh, man. No, because then I'll release those crazy ones. Detention area. Medical. Droid maintenance. Camera root menu. So I can't do anything. I guess the only thing I can do is release force fields. Ah, I don't have enough. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, system commands. Oh. Somebody had uh, there we go. So I was looking for that key. Um, let's see here. Storage container. Remains. Got item. What is it? 
it's, it's highlighting over there? Oh, it's that. Okay. Let us... Hopefully they haven't opened that door. Nope. So let us go open this. I believe I can open now. Yes, I, 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 I got the part E, so leave me alone. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alrighty then. Well guys, I'm gonna call this an episode. Um this has been I'm a Furby. When we come back next time, I guess we will go forward and attempt to escape off of um, the Leviathan. Until then, remember, we play games because they can't play themselves.